Hey everybody, welcome to this special video. I'm going to upload this video as soon as I possibly can. I am reviewing today the three Doritos Jacked Mystery Flavors. I admit I have been searching high and wide for these and I finally was able to nab all three at a 7-Eleven. So basically the rules are fairly similar to the Lay's Do Us a Flavor contest that uh, began last year. You just sample all three flavors or as many as you can possibly find and then I guess you go online to this website and you can win up to a thousand dollars in pure gold or something like that. I'm not sure. So I'm going to start with the test flavor 404 here. Just looking at the ingredient list here. Looks like some molasses solids, spices, lime juice solids, brown sugar. Sounds pretty darn good. Has a little bit of a sweetness in there. Just, just off of smelling it. That is what the 404 flavored chip looks like. Pretty good coating. Let's give this a taste. A really nice lime flavor in there. Very refreshing. I get the brown sugar and the molasses it really works well together. It's almost like a barbecue chip meets a little bit of lime in there, you know? They also mentioned some orange juice solids in here. So it's got that, you know, sweetness. It's got that citrusy note. It's got some brown sugar. So like a barbecue sensation. Pretty good. Next up, test flavor 855. See what this one has on the ingredient list. Some sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, some sugar, some cheddar cheese, some buttermilk. I get that cayenne pepper right off the bat, a little bit of that buttermilk. Has that tanginess, a little bit of chili heat. Trust me, it's mild heat. So that's what it looks like. It looks like a little bit of an angrier chip there, kind of more reddish in color. I really like that one. Buttermilk comes through more in this one. You got the, the cayenne pepper for just a little bit of heat. Yeah, this one reminds me more of that ranch hot wing uh, Doritos Jack chip, I believe, that um, that's already out there. Very similar. Finally, test flavor number 2653. I don't know how many test flavors Doritos Jack has. Uh, but I don't know if they had that many flavors. I think they just pulled some random numbers out of their ass. But let's see what this one has to offer. Hmm. This is probably the most unique one yet that I've seen. You got paprika in here, brown sugar, chocolate liquor, cocoa powder. Holy crap, this is going to be either really cool or really, really bad. Including natural bacon type flavor or natural smoke flavor. Who the hell came up with this one? It smells like, like chili powder. Here's a good example. It looks like the, the cocoa powder is on there. You can kind of see that brown cocoa powder kind of feel to it. Let's see what this one has to offer. You know, if you're if you're a fan of like that chocolate mole type of deal, this is probably going to be for you. For me, I'm kind of on the fence on this one. I'm not really sure if I want to like it, if I do like it, or if I want to hate it. This is probably Doritos' most unique flavor, at least from the ones I can find in the States. The chocolate is very, very noticeable. It's right there at the front. You can get that chipotle chili powder uh, when you smell it. It's definitely there on the back end. This is a really good example right here. Look at how coated that is. Probably a mix again of the cocoa powder, maybe a little bit of the chipotle chili pepper. That powder is getting all over my fingers too. In terms of thinking more outside the box and everything, this is the winner hands down as far as that category is concerned. As far as liking it, I have no idea. 
I pref I probably prefer one of the other two to be honest with you. So it seems like if you want more of a a really refreshing citrusy tone to your chip, it'll probably be the 404. If you want more of the wing style experience, this is probably the one for you right here, the 855. If you like mole basically, like a chocolate and chipotle type of sensation, then you're going to want this one, 2653. So if you've been able to get your hands on one of these, two of these, or all three of these, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Again, it took me a while to track these down, and let me know also if you're going to go ahead and vote for this. I believe it runs from April 29 or so through about June 27, 2014. So yeah, let me know which one you prefer. That's all for this review. Embrace that pain, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.